up guys, welcome to Flat Tutorials and this is How to Make a Card Game Episode 9. And today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna uh, limit our car's speed um, so that it will not gonna exceed to, uh, no, to its uh, highest uh, limit at speed. So in order to do that, what sh uh, we gotta do is we want we have to calculate the speed of the car, the current speed of the car, uh, to know how fast the car is currently moving. So in order to do that, uh, we, we are going to use a mathematical formula. So it's not a rocket science, so it is it is not that difficult. So let me show you what that formula is. Uh, we're, uh, right, formula. Okay, so here we go. So this is just a wheel. Now uh, we, uh, we have to know what the radius is. So this is the center point of the wheel to the circumference, the end point of the circle. The distance between these two points um, is uh, known as radius, and if the wheel is rotating, is in uh, the wheel is in, in a motion, and uh, so that uh, uh, so that magnitude is, can be calculated in RPM, means rotation per minute, rotation per second. It could be anything. Then, uh, if you don't know what the value is pi, so let me tell you, the value of pi is equals to 22 upon 7 or 3.144. I don't know. Uh, 3.14 or 22 upon 7 uh, and the mathematical formula that we're gonna be using is gonna be 2 pi radius now 2 pi radius is uh, we're gonna calculate the circumference of the circle or the circumference of the tire and times RPM we're gonna give the value to how fast the car is moving now if we take this radius in centimeters then the value the, the magnitude we're gonna get over here will gonna be equals to centimeters in minute means uh, the, the car is moving in centimeters per minute uh, the magnitude will be so um, now uh, we need to convert it to kilometer per hour so what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna divide uh, we're gonna times it to 60 that we're gonna give it to uh, that we're gonna give us to uh, meters per meters per hour then we're gonna do then we're gonna divide it to thousand that we're gonna give the value of uh, uh, that we're gonna give, give the value of uh, kilometer per hour so the the complete formula is going to be two pi radius times or times RPM uh, times sixty upon times sixty by a thousand is going to be equals to kilometer per hour speed. So let's implement that onto our script. So first thing that all the code we are going to be putting is going to be inside of car controller script. So let's open it up. All right. So uh, just wait. All right. So we're gonna create. We're gonna change our variable name first. So we're gonna change the highest speed to highest. Uh, uh, let's say lowest. You know what? Lowest steer. Steer at. Uh, let's steer at the speed. Uh, and we're gonna copy this one and we're gonna paste uh, this speed factor over here. Okay, highest speed. And we're gonna save it. And and yeah, and I'll tell you why I did this uh, uh, in a minute. Uh, uh, now let's move on to our code. So we're gonna create a variable named current speed. Current speed. Okay, uh, it's gonna be an up die float, which is gonna be equals to about 150. Then we're gonna create another variable named top speed. Sorry, top speed is going to be equals to float. Uh, sorry, off type float. Uh, yeah, off type float, and it is equals to 150. And uh, the current speed float is going to be equals to nothing. That's the wrong thing. All right, now let's move on to our code. All right, so first thing that what we have to do is to calculate the speed, and we are on to the fixed update control function. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, find the current speed. So current speed, current speed, which is an after float, is equals to the formula that we have is uh, here we go. Formula that we have is two pi radius times RPM. So two pi radius times R times RPM. So two twenty two upon seven pi radius. So it's going to be uh, one of the motor wheels, so it's going to be wheel rl dot radius times rpm, so it's going to be wheel 
RL dot RPM times uh, 60 upon 1000. Now this uh, we're going to calculate the speed of our uh, of our car of our of our car in kilometer per hour. So let's check it out. Right now, we're going to take a while. Right, so we are here now. Here we go. This is the current speed. Now, let's see. All right, now let's start. I can see it is calculating the speed, but uh, you know we have this fractional value. We don't need. Uh, I don't want this fractional value to be shown. So in order to do that, we have to round the value off. So it's going to be current speed. Current speed is equals to math f. Math f dot round current speed current speed okay so this uh, I guess this but uh, what this code means here understand pretty well because we are rounding the current speed value up and assigning uh, this value to the current speed so this is basically a pretty easy thing all right now let's just check it again Alright, so uh, this time I guess we'll only have integer value, not fractional value. So let's just test it. Alright, now you can see uh, we have only integer and that's what we want. Now, still you can see that uh, we are exceeding the top speed uh, pretty easily. So we need to normalize that. So just go onto the code and create an if statement. A simple if statement. If, if um, let's say current speed current speed is smaller than top speed smaller than or let's say equal to top speed you know smaller than would be good alright now let's just uh, end this if statement and then we're gonna create an else statement which we're gonna say if we are doing that so then uh, set the motor torque to zero. All right. So now, now what this basically means is uh, uh, we are calculating the current speed. Then we are uh, uh, then we are checking if the current speed is smaller than top speed. Then apply the motor torque as our vertical keys down. And if this statement is false, then set the motor torque of the wheels to zero. So that uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, Let's go on to the Unity and check is it working or not. Alright, so now you can see 50, 96. Alright, 50. Now it is normalized. You can see not exceeding than 50 and it is slowing down. But you know, one problem we have is we don't have limited reverse speed. Uh, we still have massive amount of reverse speed. We can go about 1000 km per hour, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're gonna normalize the reversal speed in our next episode. Uh, and uh, one more thing you're gonna ask me about why I did the uh, did this highest uh, speed to lower steer at lower steer at speed. So I did it I did this because if you are using the, uh, the top speed and uh, you know, the top speed and the spe speed factor it will gonna give us a massive amount of speed at really high speed so that's why in order to fix that I have created two separate variables so that we don't have to mess with those things so yeah I'll catch you in my next episode and I hope that you understand pretty well this formula uh, or you can use uh, math f dot pi instead of using 22 upon 7 and uh, it will gonna give you exact same value that you want and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in my next episode. Thanks, guys, and give me suggestions. Give me all that good things that uh, that help us, that help me a lot. And subscribe me, like, comment, do all that good stuff that you do. And yeah, I'll catch you in my next episode. Thanks, guys.